Okay, so uh, maybe the Korokian talk, yeah, my Korokian talk yesterday may be uh, very fast uh, uh, for you to understand, especially for graduate students. So today I'd like to talk about uh, the basic material on this subject, uh, more slowly, just for graduate students here, uh, for just soon the level of the graduate student. Okay. So firstly, I uh, uh, present the dictionary. Uh, which I talked about yesterday, but uh, today it's a more uh, precise uh, diction, more precisely, and more slowly. It's uh, so first uh, item uh, is the uh, analogy as uh, between the uh, circle and the finite field. So circle, uh, it's written the S1. Uh, it's okay, this one. It's. Uh, uh, in the homotopically, it's a case in one space. Uh, this is a topological space. Uh, the width fundamental group is isomorphic to Z, and the higher homotopy group is vanishes. So, okay. If you have any question, then they need to ask. Thing. And so the fundamental group of S1 is uh, 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 actually, it's, uh, this is a uh, uh, in terms of the Gala group, it's a Gala group of the universal cover of S1 is R. Universal cover of S1 is R as over S1. Also, this is generated by this loop the here. Loop L is a generator of this is as small Z. Uh, uh, this Z. Okay. So now we consider the arithmetic uh, analog of this. Is what is this? Uh, it, this is KZ one, so the arithmetic analog should be the KZ hat one. So it is a finite field. Oh, so the spec of F Q. Uh, the spec of uh, light it. Uh, do, you, do you know the spec of uh, spec? Uh, is it okay? Okay. No, no, no reaction. <laughs> it's uh, uh, the set of prime ideal with some uh, uh, some topology it's, uh, and spec F Q. Uh, this is uh, in eta homotopy theory. Uh, this is KZ hat one space. Uh, this is a term homotopically as uh, uh, the Eilenberg Macron space. So the fund etal, etal fundamental group. This is etal fundamental group. It's the Gower group. Uh, FQ bar over FQ. Uh, you may think of this as just definition of the etal fundamental group of a field. It's an absolute Gala group of FQ. So this is algebraic closure. Uh, so it's generated by the so-called Frobenius. Uh, it is a small to Z. And this here, the sigma is the Frobenius automorphism. So it's uh, map x to go to x to the power of q. With x is your FQ bar. Uh, when you get as sigma as the, uh, the gar in the element of the Gara group, yeah. <coughs> so we need, need this L is in some sense if we got L in the ele uh, element of the Gara group, the L is uh, uh, x goes to the x plus uh, just uh, uh, one, like that. Just just one. Uh, sorry, let me say. Open your smart. Okay, and uh, uh, here as yes, we have the uh, uh, n fold cyclic uh, n fold uh, cyclic cover. Uh, it's R over n z to uh, S one is uh, R over z. Uh, S1 is R over Z, uh, is correspond to uh, 
uh, this was this is correspond this is correspond to the uh, nth the cyclic extension of degree n uh, fqn over fq so this is the first uh, 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 dictionary Uh, so the, anyway, the, this is a both uh, object is a one dimensional thing. The circle and the FQ, spec FQ is one dimensional in the, it are homotopically. And the next one is uh, goes to the two dimensional. The second item. Uh, in the topology side, it is a solid torus. It's a B. It's a solid torus is a B in the S1 cross uh, D2. This is a two dimensional disk. Okay. Two dimensional disk. Okay. <coughs> uh, so this is isomorphic to uh, the, just S1 by clasping uh, the solid torus to the core here. So the boundary torus, uh, uh, boundary uh, torus is a boundary of this uh, is uh, homotopically uh, 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 is uh, given to the B minus uh, uh, S1 it's S1 is uh, a circle in, in inside the uh, solid torus <coughs> so it is a picture is like this here is a, here is a picture Uh, yes, this this is S one times that this is a disk D two. So the whole thing is uh, like donuts is a uh, uh, donuts is a B, and the the surface is B here. Okay. Um, the similar. Uh, the uh, arithmetic honor of solid torus is uh, uh, the so-called the ring of periodic integers. Uh, so this, it's a spec of uh, OP, let me write OP, such that uh, let's do few is a given FQ, uh, this given FQ, the lazy if it's a given FQ. Uh, so this one is, and, and this is uh, eta homotopically the same as uh, FQ. Okay. Uh, F pay is uh, sort of like, it, in, uh, it's defined by some, uh, for example, ZP, maybe. ZP is in the, uh, project limit to the p to the nth power of p. So this is a kind of the thickening, thickening the uh, as a, as a circle, you know, like uh, Baumkuchen. <laughs> so that, that's let's see here. And uh, uh, the boundary torus is correspond to the. Uh, it should be the spec. OP minus the spec FP, FQ. So this is a, just a simple spec, spectrum the uh, uh, quotient field of OP. So this is a field of periodic numbers. <coughs> okay. And uh, the fundamental group of uh, boundary torus is uh, uh, the fundamental group of the boundary torus is uh, uh, free abelian group generated by this generated by uh, the two loops, the alpha here, the beta here on the boundary. Okay, the difference of the alpha and beta is beta is nu. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Yes, beta is null homologous on the boundary, and alpha is not. 
there is a distinction between the alpha and beta. <coughs> uh, so the pi 1, uh, uh, this one goes to the B by the, uh, the induced by the inclusion of the boundary in the solid torus. In the kernel of something like I, there is some kernel. The kernel is uh, infinite cyclic generated by alpha, and this is generated by beta. Because the solid torus, the fundamental group of solid torus generated by this group. The V is a donut, so it's a uh, whose fundamental group generated by this group. Okay. And uh, so I said the alpha and the beta is a community. This is alpha beta, alpha inverse beta inverse is is one. And similarly, uh, we have exact sequence one uh, to go to I pay this is a pi one of spec k pay to spec pi one of spec o pay to one. Uh, since this uh, o pay is uh, uh, homotopic to the uh, homotopically equivalent to the fq, so this is uh, generated by the four venues again. And but this is very big. This is very big, very big uh, uh, kernel. It's called the inertia group. Okay. So that, uh, looking at this exact sequence, of course, uh, beta, uh, sorry, but the beta, beta is called the uh, longitude. The alpha is called the meridian. And they commute. So the longitude is correspond to the flow venues. Okay, longitude correspond to the flow venues. <coughs> but uh, there is no the canonical generator of the inertia group because the inertia group is a huge uh, group, it's complicated group. So uh, the analog of meridian is some element of tau in the inertia group. It's called modromy element. And the feature model you, I take is depend on the situation we are considering. Sometimes I take the inertia uh, tame model me, but sometimes I take the wild model me. Uh, when we are working on the Iwasawa theory, I, I, I take this as a wild inertia, wild, 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 some wild uh, model. Me. Okay, and uh, okay, and for number theory side, it's uh, if you take. Uh, Maximal tame uh, quotient of the uh, inertia group. Do you know the tame tame thing? You know, tame. Okay. Yes, if you don't know, then uh, just just a quotient. This is maximal uh, tame line phi the quotient of this uh, tame quotient. This is just quotient group of I p. But the ramification is uh, uh, the allowing the uh, uh, ramification to be the tame, only tame. Uh, then this is uh, generated by the one element, canonical element. Let me write just the t tau, the same tau. Then the, we have the relation is tau, and the sigma is uh, tau to the one minus q. Uh, this is uh, actually very old result of Iwasawa's very old result. So the, uh, I mean, I mean that the tame fundamental group, the whole thing, is uh, generated by a tau and sigma uh, subject to the relation tau and sigma is tau to one minus q. This means uh, this group is generated by the tau and the sigma, and uh, with subject to the relation this one. Okay, so. This group uh, has a similar structure of this group. Right? Here is we are commuting, but it is not commuting, but here, but it's a it's very close structure. If you go to one, then the same thing. 
number field, the difficulty number field arises in this, this kind of thing, this kind of uh, thing. Right? <coughs> okay, this is a uh, two-dimensional analogy. So now, uh, the, going to the three dimension. In the topology side, I, we consider the three manifold. And uh, sometimes are uh, connected, it's oriented, and the closed one. Let me write it to the M. Uh, this corresponds to the uh, numbering of a uh, number field K. Is this finite degree of rational? So finite degree rational, and uh, this condition is closed oriented con connectedness is uh, correspond to this. Here is a compact name, compactified condition. Uh, I'll explain now. It's a <laughs> so uh, this is a spec. This is a ring of integer of number field. Okay, is a ring of integer number field. Uh, if k is lash, uh, rational number field, then OK is z, simply z. Okay. And the compactness means that if you add the uh, infinite prime, the set of infinite prime, <coughs> this is a set of infinite primes of number field, then uh, this whole thing is correspond to the closed oriented connected three manifold. But in general, the spec OK is not compact. This is not compact thing. So it's correct, uh, correspond to non compact here. So the, uh, infinite prime, the set of infinite prime is uh, uh, end, correspond to end of the non-compact three manifold, end of the non-compact three manifold. And so, and connected oriented closed manifold is always this is a finite, uh, ramified cover of S3, the ramified. Over link. Uh, this is a theorem of the Alexander. Any uh, connected oriented uh, closed three manifold is a branch cover over the three sphere, the line fight over link. The similarly, uh, the ring of integer is uh, this is finite uh, line fight cover of spec Z ramified over a finite set of prime prime numbers. <laughs> uh, so, so as I mentioned, it's the end of non-compact three manifold is correspond to the as a set of infinite prime, uh, infinite prime, the set of infinite prime, okay. Uh, in particular, I uh, think S3, that this is standard three sphere is uh, R3 added infinity, uh, here, that usually uh, you may call this the infinite point, the adding to the non compact space R. But here, we regard this, uh, this infinity as the end, end of R3. So this is the end of compactification of R3, is S3. This uh, uh, corresponds to the spec Z bar, spec, uh, the compactified spec Z. This is the infinite prime. Maybe you asked that, uh, maybe I was asked by many people, uh, why spec Z? Why the ring of integer is uh, like three dimensional? <laughs> why is uh, 
uh, this is a, this is just a remark, three dimensional. Well, why? Why is the set of all prime numbers? It looks like uh, three dimensional. And so, it's a, actually, but uh, because of the fact of that, this is just fact. <laughs> the eta cohomological dimension is three. As uh, the ring of integers, the eta cohomological dimension is three. Actually, up to the two torsion, but uh, don't care about that uh, infinite prime now. This is three. And the another one thing is, is this. Spec OK enjoys the Artin, Artin Verde duality, uh, three dimensional Artin Verde duality. Uh, for uh, the uh, etal cohomology, do, do you know this? Do you know this one? Do you know? Origin duality. Uh, this, uh, yes, this is like uh, three-dimensional Poincare duality. For the ring of integers. So uh, maybe it's, I, I don't, maybe I don't need to write down the Origin duality, duality, but you may just, you may think of the Origin duality like a uh, three-dimensional Poincare duality for etal cohomology of number ring. So this is the thing. Okay, so this fact uh, suggests that the spec OK it's like uh, looks like a three-dimensional real manifold, three-dimensional real manifold. Okay, but uh, uh, that's uh, another uh, maybe uh, explanation that why spec OK is three-dimensional is uh, the holes. So maybe the classical analogy says uh, that Z. Uh, the case of Z is uh, correspond to the some uh, is analog of the uh, polynomial ring. Do, do you know this analogy? Uh, integer and the polynomial ring is analogous object. Right? The prime number here is correspond to the uh, irreducible polynomial. There are many common properties, both li links. Right? <coughs> then that, uh, uh, the, then what does it looks like this, this one? Look at this one. Then the spec FQT is fiber over spec FQ, with fiber is a spec of the uh, algebraic closure of uh, T. Uh, this has a vibration nobody here. And this is like uh, S1, as I said. This is the first dictionary, first one. But this is, this is algebraic closure. This, so this is like a spec of C of T. But spec C of T is just, this is just C. Reducible polynomial is just one degree one polynomial, so this is like three. So this is a two dimensional. This is one dimensional. So the spec FQ T is like uh, uh, playing the two dimensional surface bundle over S1. Uh, this is surface, look like surface, real, 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 in real dimension is two, the surface bound over S1. Uh, but uh, the ring of integer, Z, doesn't have such a uh, uh, constant field inside Z. So uh, in general, the so Z, spec Z, should be considered, uh, in general, this is three manifold. Uh, so this is a special three manifold. This is a special three manifold. Uh, this is circle, this is fiber bundle over circle, so this is very special. For, for example, the fundamental group of this is always infinite, right? But as you know, the fundamental group of the link of integers sometimes finite. Uh, so, so like lens space, lens space has a finite uh, fundamental group. So we consider this as a, like a three manifold. Actually, in this case, this is S3. This is a fundamental group, it's trivial, so this is like three. In general, uh, 
in general, it's a curve, algebraic curve over F cube is a tar homotopically. Uh, this is uh, this is a plane bundle, the surface bundle over S one. So at the spec Z, like S uh, three, the R three, the spec O K is in general it's uh, because this is a three manifold. Three-dimensional, three three manifold, three-dimensional real manifold. Uh, sorry, three-dimensional real manifold. It's, this is three-dimensional real, real manifold. Okay. So the fourth item. Now it's a knot. Knot is embedding, okay, of a circle in the three manifold M. So this corresponds to the prime as a spec. Uh, if pair, uh, this is a residue field of pair uh, embedding in the spec OK. This is induced by the ring homomorphism from OK to O pay, O modulo pay. The pay is the prime idea. Uh, if we take M is a, a three sphere, then this corresponds to the spec FP. So P is a prime number in the spec Z. Uh, so the not complement the XK is a M minus. K is not. Uh, I, I identify the K with the image of the uh, circle in the, the prime complement. Let me write the XP is a spec OK okay, minus SP. Just remove the one prime number from the whole set of prime number primes. Then uh, not group the so GK is a fundamental group of XK. Uh, it's correspond to the uh, prime group. Let me call it this is a prime group. Uh, GP is a entire fundamental group of XP and XP. Uh, this is philosophically, this is a Gala group uh, of uh, K pay uh, uh, over K. And the K pay is uh, maximal Gala extension over K, it's unlimited outside. P and uh, infinite prime. In general, this is very big group, very big group. In general, uh, K K P. Sorry, let me write K K. This is not a periodic integer. This is K P. P. Bracket. P. And in not theory, uh, we consider the D K is a peripheral group, the so-called peripheral group is defined by the image of the uh, boundary of tube neighborhood. This is a uh, tube neighborhood 
VK is a, this is the tube neighborhood. Of K, so if torus, if the knot is like this, this the tube neighborhood is just it's 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 knotted knotted donuts. Uh, similarly, uh, uh, analogous object of the peripheral group in number theory is called a decomposition group. Uh, let me write this DK. It's the image. So image of the analog of this was a fundamental group of spec KP, I said, as I said. So this is image in the GP. See, uh, this map this map induced by the uh, this inclusion. This map is induced by this inclusion. Right? And taking fundamental group both side, then you get this. And this map this map is uh, also induced by the uh, spec K P to the spec O K, uh, which is induced by the uh, K P O K uh, so sorry, X P, which is induced by the uh, I just let me uh, say uh, X P something uh, yes this is like a O K one over P inside the K P. Did you, is it okay this <laughs> is it maybe it's it we invert P. So if you don't like this, if you don't like this notation, if you take some power of K, this is some generated by some element. So just just uh, so this is uh, this is same as OK uh, to the one over A. So Uh, yes, I assume that uh, uh, the basic algebraic number theory and the basic topology. But if you don't, if you have some any notion you don't know, that uh, just ask him. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The link. The link is uh, just a multi-component uh, knot. So of course, correspond to the uh, finite set of prime. Uh, it says it's P1, PR of the link of integer. And the link group is GL, is a fundamental group of M minus L. Uh, this is, uh, uh, this is so often called as a There is no name with for finite set of primes, so no no name. So this is something that calls Gala group with restricted ramification. In the following sense, this this is a GS is a pi one of spec O K minus S, right? But this is a Gala group of K S over K. Here we the KS is a, a maximal extension, maximal extension over K, it's so unlikely outside <coughs> S and uh, infinite prime, infinite primes. Okay, uh, this is also the this is also the Gala group of uh, uh, universal cover of this, right? Universal cover. But this is like universal cover. This this is like a universal cover. How they are linked is 
somewhere in the classical times? Uh, oh. so, for instance, I, uh. I have S1, three mm. S1, then I can make a make a this and this and the other one mm. in, in the sequel. But I can also make a three of the S1 linked all together. Mm -hmm. As a kind of like a mm -hmm. leaf with three, uh, mm -hmm. leaf with three leaves. Uh, so it seems like here, over here, there are several ways to make a link out of the uh, <laughs> S1. So here, <laughs> if I just plug one Yes, one if one. you fix that the set of finite prime, then the, the link, the how to link is that fixed already fixed. Already fixed. Ah, so okay, so yeah. here there might be some more complex. Uh, yes. Ah, okay. Let me maybe I think may I should explain. This analogy is just uh, how, how you say it's uh, it's just uh, analogy of notions between notions between topology and number theory. But I was asked that some what 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 what's the correspond to five to the link of uh, not in the S three S one. The seven is what is what, what's not correspond to seven. Well, uh, it's not <laughs> there is no such a precise correspondence not. There is no such a precise one-to-one -one correspondence of prime and uh, not. This is just no notion. The notion is corresponding. So homotopy here in the sense of homotopy. Yes. 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 Excuse me? Yes, G pay. What's the definition? Yes, definition of the decomposition group over pay. Over pay. I mean, I mean the is uh, G pay is uh, uh, yes the com the Oh, may maybe this is not standard notation in number algebraic number theory. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, you would like to call the GP. <laughs> so I like D because this is decomposition group. <laughs> okay, the, the final uh, dictionary, final item. In the dictionary, it is five. Five is the correspondence, the homology, and the idea class group. So uh, we have uh, uh, the chain map. From this is a the two chain, uh, the group of two chain of three manifold M, and then we have boundary map which goes to the uh, uh, the group of one cycle of three manifold, three dimensional manifold, and the one cycle is just uh, a free abelian group generated by the all knot in the SM. This is one cycle because, <coughs> and so uh, the the two cycle goes to the boundary of the the two cycle here. Uh, similarly, uh, we have a map from K cross uh, to the uh, ideal group is a uh, free abelian group generated by the uh, uh, prime ideal, non-zero prime ideal of K or K. Uh, we get this as an uh, analog of this. So here, so the number A is goes to the principal ideals generated by A. This is the principal idea generated by A. Okay. Then the, the, the so-called first homology, first homology G group is H1 of MZ uh, with coefficient Z is just a co-kernel of delta. Right? The first homology is uh, one cycle modulus uh, one boundary. So this is first homology. So this uh, corresponds to the uh, uh, co kernel Let me write this is again the delta. Is this uh, uh, delta is a common notation in the K theory maybe? Yeah. K theory. This is delta. And so the, what is the co kernel here? Is it's a uh, uh, idea class group modulus the principal ideal. So this is a uh, uh, 
we call the ideal class group of K, number field K. And uh, how about the kernel of delta? Is the kernel of delta is uh, so simply this is H2. So this is a second homology. Um, actually, it's not. Uh, there is a C3 over here. A C3 is a three chain here. Uh, but uh, uh, yes. So we MZ. Uh, when you got this, just uh, uh, this, this, this is not it's a kernel, but uh, it's like kernel. Just you got it's a kernel. So this is a kernel of delta is a unit group of OK. It's a unit group of OK. So this is a boundary. So this is a boundary of number. So unit group, a uh, unit of number ring is goes to the uh, trivial, trivial in the ideal class. So that means that uh, second homo, th this, this is generated, oh yes, maybe I should write, this is, this is generated, this is generated by the two side, uh, two one, uh, two cycle, uh, two chain, uh, um, I know actually I have to take the module, the boundary. Um, but uh, this is generated by actually two cycle, two cycle. Two cycle means uh, there's no without boundary, without boundary. So this corresponds to this one because uh, bound. It's, this is ideal is boundary of this one. Okay, you may like a picture. So I said the prime number is like not, but actually it's not precisely right. Uh, here is a picture. Is uh, that's a five here? The well, five. <coughs> the idea generated five is a uh, not. But five itself is uh, uh, this uh, surface, like this surface. The boundary of this is this ideal. <laughs> okay. And if uh, if this one, if it's a, a number is a unit group, then there is no boundary. Right? There is no boundary. That means correspond to two cycle, two cycle. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, this is a dictionary I present. Actually, I think the, my, my motivation of my work is I wanted to understand the how the basic question, a uh, fundamental question, in number theory. Nobody knows answer so far, is how uh, is uh, uh, spec FP, spec FP embedded, embedded in the spec FZ. How? The answer is that we should, to, to, I mean, to answer this question, we should know that there are uh, Eta fundamental group, the structure eta fundamental group of this one. Uh, but this is huge. Nobody knows the structure of this group. Okay. Nobody knows. <coughs> so this, in this sense, it's very, this is a huge, huge group. So that means that uh, FP, the prime number, is a very, very complicated node. Very, very complicated knot in spec SZ because this is a huge group. And also, uh, this is inside embedded in here, but if you take another prime number FQ, uh, FL, then this is embedded in here. So the, uh, mo one more fundamental question in number theory, what's the relation of embedding of P, P and L in spec Z? What's the, what's the, how we, in the, the, the what is the interaction of P and Q uh, embedded in spec Z? It's like a question in the theory of the particle. Theory is particle, prime particle in physics. You, you, you study the interaction 
of the two particles, the same <laughs> P and Q is interacted with. Well, the, the class field theory gives some answer, very partial answer, if you are very nice. But <laughs> this is a very fundamental question in algebraic number theory. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, so I, I finished the dictionary. Okay, then I, then next I discuss a very uh, basic example uh, based on the, uh, this analogy. It's a second one, it's a basic example. It's a Rujando symbol, oh, it's not, it's a linking number. Rigando symbol. Okay, my, my first it's not side. Actually, I should write the link, but not not. I just say it's not side. Is K and L is a two component link in S three. Like this. It's oriented. Um, it's oriented. And because I, I will define the linking number, have to be oriented. And then let yk be the uh, double cover of the complement of k. Okay. Uh, the homology group, homology group of xk is z. Uh, how do you say? Homology group of XK is Z generated by this meridian. Gen generated by this meridian. This, this, okay, this meridian of K. So uh, there is a unique uh, double cover, unique double cover of complement of K. Then that uh, <coughs> Linking number, its linking number of the K and L is actually, uh, is the number how the K and the L is linked. So in this case, uh, the L is linked uh, K and second times linked. So the, in this case, the linking number is uh, two. And by the monodromy, uh, looking at monodromy, we have a map from the pi one x to the Gala group uh, the, this is natural map of Gala theory. This is as move to Z mod to Z. Now we look at uh, mod two linking number. Now here is the L. Says so this is beta L. The longitude, longitude of L is goes to the link. Here is it goes to the linking number of K and L mod 2. Okay. Because the image of L in the inside here is expressed how L linked on the K. So this is the linking number. It's the linking number mod 2. <coughs> Let's do the same thing for for prime for prime case. Let and P and Q is an odd prime number, two odd prime number. Uh, precisely, I should write the P here, if you Q here, if you regard the prime as a knot. I should write this way or this way, but uh, for simplicity, I just write this way. And let YP is a uh, uh, double cover of uh, prime complement of P. It's a double etal cover. Actually, uh, there is a condition. It's not. It's not known. There exists a uh, the double cover. Uh, 
there is exists a such a et al double cover, uh, including uh, the infinite prime. Infinite prime must be unlinified. Infinite prime must be unlinified. Then uh, there exists such a condition as uh, uh, this condition implies p must be congruent to one model, mod four. Uh, this is a very natural condition uh, to think of the linking number of two primes. Okay, okay. If uh, p is congruent to one, oh, then then this double cover is correspond to q square root p over q square root of three. Okay, but if you, uh, p is congruent to three mod four, if you congruent three mod four, uh, there is a unique uh, quadratic extension uh, unlinified as p is here, but here it's a infinite prime linified. Okay, for this infinite prime line five, so I just put the condition is P is congruent to one. This is a condition is the prime number is null homologous inside spec Z. Null homologous condition is this. Uh, we exclude this, that case. Then we have the fundamental map from fundamental group of the complement to the Gala group of YP over XP. So this is uh, uh, the g simply just Gala group of Q square root of P over Q. Then analog of the longitude, as I said, analog of the longitude is uh, flow venues of Q. Flow venues. So what, where, what is flow venues here? Then we can define the uh, linking number, mod to linking number and P and Q in the here. Mod two linking number P and Q here, but <coughs> say, let me tell you. Uh, then <coughs> flow venues is here uh, is identity or, or on the Q square root P means that this Q, uh, this flow venues Q, act on square root P is trivially. This means a uh, square root P is uh, uh, the square uh, square mod Q, right? The flow venues act on square root of P means that the flow venues is flow venues is uh, a generator of this whole Gal group of flow venues over Q. Okay, and here uh, the square root of P this act on this means that this map this is uh, sorry this is square root of P is in the F Q. Right? Because flow venues act on trivial, so it, this this number mu must be here in the bottom. So this means P is F Q square. Uh, this means the P is quadratic residue mod P mod mod, uh, mod Q. Uh, so that means. Uh, P, Q is one. This is the region of the symbol. Definition of region of the symbol is defined by this. So you, hence, uh, this is part zero of, uh, this takes zero of one. So minus one to the power of the linking number, P and Q, is uh, simply the P region of the symbol. We, are, we got this formula. If this is one, this, this is zero mean. This zero means, this zero means uh, sigma q goes to the identity element over here. Identity means this identity. So it means here. So if this is zero, then this should be one. If this is one, this should be minus one. So, so this is the same, is the same. Because Rujanda symbol takes the values of plus one or minus one. If it's a quadratic, if P is a residue, then it takes one. It's non-residue, it takes minus one. Non-residue case, it is not, so it's one. So, we have, uh, so yes. Yeah. So, uh, can this one possibly be expressed in terms of uh, pain symbols? Yes. Uh, yeah. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, yes, it, it's it's related that Hiba Hiba symbol is uh, is Rijanda symbol expressed by Tim Hiba symbol. Uh, 
But in, in this formulation, it's uh, better to formulate the Lugiando symbol and the linking number. I, um, but may, maybe I should note that linking number was introduced by Gauss in his, uh, when he was old. But uh, when he was young, when Gauss was young, he studied this Rujando symbol. He is the first person who gave uh, proof of the quadratic reciprocity law. Quadratic reciprocity law is uh, just uh, uh, the symmetry of linking number. Because now I assume that the P and Q is congruent to one mod four. This is natural question, natural assumption. <coughs> uh, but w when Gauss was a boy, uh, before studying quadratic reciprocity, he wrote a many many figure of not in his notebook. His so called is it's remain that his notebook remain. So I, I guess just this is just my guess. The Gauss might have some uh, analogy. You know the, some analogies between Rujando symbol and linking number. Gauss has some such a sense feeling, but at that time uh, of Gauss, there is no no Gala group, no language of uh, such a Gala group, Frobenius or uh, such a thing. So he couldn't uh, express. Uh, actually, there is no notion of group at that time of Gauss. So he couldn't express uh, his sense of the feeling uh, explicitly. But now we can do that we can do. So, actually, I would like to ask the Gauss's opinion, uh, as opinion of Gauss in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he, he, maybe he would say that, oh, that I know, I, I, I knew that. <laughs> so, my, one more question, that, uh, oh, sorry, maybe, um, one, one thing just, so, Gauss uh, genus theory, this is very famous. Uh, this is a uh, this is a, a starting point of algebraic number theory, modern development of algebraic number theory. Says so let me just say, K is a quadratic field. For simplicity, I assume it's uh, all PI is uh, mod four. There are distinct prime number. Then HK is. Uh, HK is uh, now, uh, in a sense, narrow ideal class group. Uh, you, you don't mind that it's a narrow or wide ideal class group. Okay. The Gauss uh, genus theory stated as follows. Uh, we have a map. <coughs> uh, yes. First, we have to introduce the notion of genus. Take uh, uh, some two uh, uh, ideal class. R is ideal, and the B is ideal. The, this is the integral ideal, R and B, we assume this is the integral ideal. Then R and B is the same genus, in the same genus. This means in the same genus. Uh, this, is, this bracket means a class, ideal class, this bracket. Th the same genus, if and only if the uh, Rujando symbol of the norm of uh, our normal pair is the same for all i. Here the norm of r is just the number of the residue class of mod r. Okay, uh, norm of uh, idea is just defined by this. <coughs> then this, uh, <coughs> then uh, the Gauss, uh, this is the equivalence relation on defined on the idea class group. Then Gauss classified uh, ideal class group by this uh, genus relation. Then Gauss's result says, uh, this result uh, says this relation, this group is isomorphic to D mod uh, 2G to the power of some R minus 1. This is R is the number of the ramified prime, this number of the prime is here. This is Gauss's result. Actually, maybe I should, maybe actually, this is epsilon i. It's uh, uh, this is a plus minus one. 
epsilon i is plus minus 1. The map is given by, the, the, this map uh, is given by the r goes to norm r in the pi. This is the Rujando symbol here. This is a Gauss genus theory. Uh, this is a Gauss genus theory. This is Gauss main theorem. This, this whole thing, uh, this is plus minus 1 in the Z mode 2, right? Z mode 2. But we have one equation. So this is Z mode 2, the power of R minus 1. But similarly, we can show that suppose M is, uh, uh, this is double cover, line phi over uh, R component link. Each, each ki is uh, each ki is correspond to here is a pi prime number. Here, here is a or, or here in this ex, ex, extension is only the p1 to pr is ramified here in this extension. Yes, we did only P, k1 to kr is ramified. Uh, then uh, h1 uh, for r and b in the homology class, h1 homology class. Uh, we define the, the genus relation. Uh, H1M is classified, this is equivalence relation on the homology group, first homology group. This is equivalence relation. And then if you divide by that, then this is isomorphic to the uh, epsilon i. In this case, this is, a, in this case, is, this is a zero or minus one. And we take sum equals zero. So this is uh, the same as z mod 2 mod r minus 1. This isomorphism here. Isomorphism given by the similarly linking number of f star r and ki mod 2. It's, yeah, this corresponds to this one. So completely the same, same, same. The situation is completely parallel. Publicly parallel. That we, we we can show this one. This is an easy exercise in topology. <laughs> so uh, by this example, it's, I, I I just guess that Gauss has some sense to uh, the, for the analogy between knots and primes, because the result is completely parallel. So <coughs> okay, this is the first.